The hippopotamus is the world's deadliest large land mammal. It kills an estimated 500 people per year in Africa, according to BBC News & World. Hippos are aggressive creatures and they have very sharp teeth. Hippopotamus can weigh up to 9,900 pounds or 4,500 kilograms. They can be very dangerous, especially if they're young or threatened. Despite being a herbivore, hippopotamus have been known to charge humans and laughing and yawning gestures, which most human thinks are cute, are actually warning signs and threat symbols. According to Trip Savvy, Cape Buffalo are responsible for more than 200 deaths in Africa every year. Being almost six feet tall, Cape Buffalo will attack when threatened. Even when injured, they will still charge in anger. According to a report from the Condé Nast Traveler, the massive creatures are said to kill more hunters in the sub-Saharan Africa than any other animal. Cape Buffalo are known for the enormous horns on their head. They use these horns to do battle for territory, mates, and they will even attack humans. According to National Geographic, as well as many other websites, the poison dart frog, or the poison arrow frog, is one of the most toxic animals on earth. It's usually found in small rainforest areas in Colombia. A single frog of this species has enough venom to kill 10 people. Of all the colors, it is said that the golden dart frog is the most poisonous of all. For centuries, the poison from these frogs were used to make poison darts in order to hunt and kill prey. According to ThoughtCo.com, the poison from these darts can remain potent even a hundred years later. While there are no statistics on how many humans actually die from poison arrow frogs each year, they are known to be one of the most toxic animals in the world. But at the same time, their poisons have been used in certain medicines, and so they can actually have health benefits as well as being a killer. As the rainforests are slowly destroyed and their habitat decreases, poison arrow frogs are now listed in the endangered species. The box jellyfish, found in the waters off the coast of Australia, the Philippines, and elsewhere, these translucent and very nearly invisible jellyfish are one of the most deadly jellyfish in the world. Unlike other types of jellyfish who float where the currents direct them, box jellyfish can actually swim fast and deliberately. The venom from a box jellyfish can kill a person in minutes, stopping their heart. In addition, it can leave lasting pain and scars throughout the entire body. The problem with these jellyfish is that they're very hard to see and they often swim right off the coast. While there is no official tally on how many deaths the box jellyfish causes each year, they are known to kill between 30 and 40 people just on the Philippine coasts alone. The pufferfish, also known as the blowfish, may seem quite clumsy, but it's infamously deadly from sea to the plate. According to National Geographic, nearly all pufferfish species contain tetrotoxin, which is 1,200 times more poisonous than cyanide. There is enough tetrotoxin in a single pufferfish to kill 30 adults, and there is no antidote. Despite all of this, the pufferfish is considered a delicacy in Japan where it is called fugu, 
Only very specially licensed chefs can prepare this dish. Despite the risks, many people continue to eat fugu and it results in 30 to 50 deaths each year in Japan. The stonefish. The stonefish is another candidate for the most venomous marine animal. And it is all the more dangerous because its ability to completely blend in with its surrounding, looking like a rock or coral to swimmers and divers. Most of the time, people will step on these and not even know what's going on until they're stung. The stonefish's venom injected through their dorsal fin spines can kill a human adult in less than an hour according to Oceana.org. While stonefish live underwater, beachgoers in the animal's Indo-Pacific territory should also watch out for them near the shore. While there are thousands of stings each year from divers that are unaware of the stonefish in their territory, only 30 people have actually died from a stonefish venom. Usually they can get help within the proper amount of time. Sharks, dun dun dun. Perhaps no animal is feared more in the world than the shark. According to National Geographic, there are two kinds of sharks on the top most dangerous animals, the great white shark and the bull shark. We're gonna talk about the great white shark first, then the bull shark, then we will give you the worldwide statistics on how many injuries and death sharks as a group cause to people. According to National Geographic, the great white shark is one of the largest predatory fish on the planet. It grows to more than 20 feet long and 5,000 pounds. It has hundreds of sharp white teeth built to tear flesh apart and allowing it to swallow huge chunks of meat at a time. According to National Geographic also, their sense of smell is extraordinary. They are able to detect a single drop of blood from miles away. They have electro sensors on the ends of their nostrils that can detect a flailing fish or a fish in danger. But according to National Geographic, most of the attacks on humans are accidental. Great white sharks do not intentionally hunt humans and most of the injuries occur from a bump and bite out of curiosity rather than hunting. Most likely the great white shark thought that you were a seal. A bull shark. Actually, most experts say that the bull shark is more dangerous than the great white, especially since they are able to live in seawater as well as freshwater. They are known to be extremely aggressive, often headbutting prey to knock them out before attacking them outright. The name bull shark literally means bulldog of the sea, meaning when they get a hold of something, they are like a bulldog. They do not let go. Again, though, as with great white sharks, bull sharks do not intentionally hunt humans. Oftentimes, they are mistaken for another food source, so humans have to really watch out for sharks as more and more people are venturing into the waters where they live. Great white and bull sharks are not the only sharks out there. In fact, tiger sharks, white tip sharks, and other sharks have been known to do attacks on humans as well. According to the Museum for Fish and Wildlife in Florida, in 2019 alone, there were 140 shark attacks. There are two main types of attacks. There are unprovoked attacks, where the human is not doing anything to interact with the shark, but happens to be in the shark's environment and is bitten. And there are provoked attacks, where humans are intentionally harassing the shark, flailing in the water, or purposely trying to draw the attention of a shark, and then there's injury. In 2019 alone, there were 41 provoked attacks and 64 unprovoked attacks. The United States leads the world in unprovoked attacks, with most of the attacks coming off the coast of Florida. However, despite there being over 140 attacks or near calls with sharks, last year in 2019 there were only two fatalities. So as much as people are afraid of sharks, most of the time the sharks don't want humans.
crocodiles and alligators. They may look alike, but they are very different. However, they are both dangerous to humans. Crocodiles are larger, live in salt water, and when they close their mouths, you can see almost all of their teeth crisscrossing on the outside. Alligators tend to be smaller, live in fresh water, and when they close their mouths, you can usually only see their top sharp teeth. According to a recent study, approximately 1,000 people per year are killed by crocodiles. However, with alligators, it's usually one to two. The most dangerous type of crocodile is the Nile crocodile. They eat mostly fish. However, if you see them, it's important to give them a wide berth. Just the Nile crocodile kills about 200 people every year, according to National Geographic. They usually measure 16 feet and weigh 500 pounds, but some can grow as long as 20 feet. According to Smithsonian's National Zoo, an exceptionally large alligator can reach up to 1,000 pounds. While fatalities from alligators are rare, there have been 401 unprovoked bite attacks in Florida alone from 1948 to 2017. This is according to Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. Of those 401 bite attacks, 24 turned out to be fatal. If I met this guy in the lake, I think I would give him the right away. The blue ringed octopus. It's actually very beautiful and it's small many people actually chase it down thinking that it's harmless. However, according to Ocean Conservancy, the blue ringed octopus is extremely dangerous because it has the same deadly toxin as the pufferfish, the tetrotoxin. While a bite from this animal is usually painless, it's extremely deadly. Due to this poison, this type of octopus is considered one of the most dangerous marine animals in the world. The blue ringed octopus is native to the Pacific Ocean and it's often found in shallow tide pools. If you see the bright blue rings appear, you should back away immediately because it means this octopus is feeling threatened. One bite is enough to kill a man in 20 minutes or less. According to cephalopod attack, about 10 to 15 people are killed each year from the toxin of the blue ringed octopus. The cone snail. One of the most dangerous things about these snails is that they just look like what they are, beautiful shells. The toxin is meant for vertebrate fish causing instant paralysis so that the cone snail, which moves very slow, can slowly engulf their prey. Humans also having a vertebrae will react the same way as a fish does if stung by this toxin. According to Divers Alert Network, all 600 species of cone shells are poisonous. And this poison dart tooth contains a venom called conotoxin which can cause paralysis, respiratory failure, and death. There is no treatment and no antidote for this venom. So when you are seeing shells that are beautiful, be very careful when you try and pick them up. According to Cone Snail Facts, that's all interesting. There are about 30 deaths per year. Another dangerous snail is the freshwater snail. It's tiny and very easy to miss, Yet the freshwater snail kills about 200,000 people every year. The snail itself isn't what's actually causing the fatalities, but it carries a parasitic disease called schistosomiasis. According to the World Health Organization, in 2016 alone, 206.4 million people worldwide required preventative treatment for schistosomiasis. You can contract it from just wading, swimming, or entering in the water in any way. The parasites exit the snails into the water and find you. As they penetrate your skin, migrate through your body, and they end up in your blood vessels where they can live for years and decades.
Scorpions are found all over the world and they are notorious for their sting. And one of the most vicious types is the Death Stalker Scorpion, which has multiple different venoms in its tiny little 4.5 inch frame. According to eMedicine, 1.2 million people are stung by scorpions each year, with almost 5,000 deaths. However, in addition to being toxic, many of these scorpions are studied for medicinal purposes. Their toxins are being milked and actually being turned into medicines that are used to treat cardiovascular disease, respiratory diseases, and even some cancer. It has been found that the venom of a scorpion can transcend the blood-brain barrier and the potentials for medicinal value are off the charts. However, you should still not try and find these scorpions in the wild because you never know which sting could be the deadly one. Snakes are some of the most ferocious animals on the planet. They bite an estimated of 5.4 million people every year, with about half of them becoming envenomed. Each year, according to the World Health Organization, around 81,000 to 138,000 people die from snake bites. These are the top five deadliest snakes. The Death Adder is considered one of the most venomous snakes in the world. Surprisingly though, the Death Adder has been under threat itself from none other than a cane frog, one of the most poisonous types of frogs in the world. The Black Mamba, which is well known from the movie Kill Bill, isn't actually even black, but brown. It is a highly aggressive snake that does not like when other people are in their personal space so it will actively try to attack you. When the Black Mamba snaps at enemies, they strike not once, but several times, transferring massive amounts of toxin to their attacker, according to National Geographic. Without any anti-venom, the venom of a Black Mamba can mean certain death within 20 minutes. The saw scale viper lived in dry areas in Africa, Arabia, and Southwestern Asia. When the creatures are threatened, they slither leisurely and make a warning hissing sound and then strike rapidly. Mortality rates are frighteningly high for these snakes, so avoid them at all costs. King Cobra. Another killer snake is the King Cobra, which has a powerful neurotoxin that can kill a fully grown elephant or 20 people in a single bite. Despite being used traditionally in performances by snake charmers in Asia, King Cobras are actually very shy and will only attack when they feel threatened. King Cobras in the wild are actually very easy to miss due to their hue that can blend easily and camouflage them into the background. They are the longest venomous snake in the planet. The Inland Taipan is found in Australia and around the world. It is considered by the Australian Museum as the most venomous snake in the entire world. However, it is also quite shy. And it feeds exclusively on mammals. This snake will usually bite its prey and then let it go. Within the hour, the prey is paralyzed and death, and then the inland taipan will ingest the mammal whole. It can eat mammals as large as giant rabbits, gophers, and anything that it can get up and bite. If a human is bitten by an inland taipan, death can result within the hour if anti-venom is not received. There are many venomous spiders throughout the world, but one of the most deadly is the fearsome funnel web spider. However, despite there being between 40 and 50 bites in Australia each year, there have been only 13 deaths recorded ever. According to National Geographic, the speed with which the black funnel web spider takes the lives of its victims makes it a worthy contender as one of the most dangerous spiders in the world. Once the spider chomps on your skin, death can occur in as fast as 15 minutes. There are 35 different species of the funnel web spider. 
The black widow spider is considered very dangerous and though its bite is extremely painful, there has been no recorded fatalities from a black widow spider ever. The kissing bug is a type of assassin bug that not so much kisses its victims, but bites them. The bite itself isn't too painful, but it is a very dangerous bug since these bugs can be infected with trypsinoma or Chagas disease. According to the World Health Organization, about 10,000 people die each year from the bite of a kissing bug which transmits the Chagas disease. According to Texas A&M, the kissing bug, which is found right now only in the Americas, can transmit the Chagas disease to humans and animals. The CDC estimates that 8 million people in Mexico, Central America, and South America are afflicted with Chagas disease. Chagas disease can be hard to detect because at first there are no symptoms. It can stay dormant for years. However, patients can develop severe cardiac or intestinal complications as the disease progresses. The Africanized Killer Bee Warwick Kerr brought African honeybees to South America in an attempt to breed a strain that's more productive. Unfortunately, a number of them escaped and bred with European honeybees, creating a new hybrid species that eventually became known as the Africanized honeybees. The Africanized honeybees' impulse to sing is 10 times greater than that of an average bee. According to the Smithsonian, since the Africanized bees came to Brazil, the stingers have caused the death of around 1,000 people. However, the BBC notes that Africanized bees are smaller than European and they carry less venom. However, since they're so aggressive, they have been known to sting even when unprovoked. The Asian Giant Hornet. It is one of the largest hornet species in the entire planet, able to grow up to two and a half inches in length. It's also a speedy flyer. You are unlikely to outrun one, so don't even try. This species killed 42 people and injured over 1,000 people within months back in 2013. The Asian Giant Hornet kills people with a venom that destroys red blood cells. This can lead to kidney failure and death. In a study by the CDC, since 2000 to 2017, over a thousand people have died from hornet venom. 80% of these are men. The lion is known as the king of the jungle and for good reason. This is a fast, powerful, extremely ruthless, and perfect killing machine. According to maneater.com, lions kill about 250 people each year. It's a smart thing to avoid lions, but it's also important to protect the populations of this beautiful yet deadly creature. The African lion is already marked as vulnerable in the IUCN red list. According to Planet Deadly, leopards are pound for pound the strongest mammal in the animal kingdom and has the most powerful bite of all the big cats. Primates, such as gorilla, are occasional meals of leopards, so humans are not such a big leap from their usual diet. In fact, since 1875, when records were began, there have been more than 15,000 leopard-related deaths in India alone. This is according to Leopard Attack from National Geographic. 
It is said that once a leopard becomes a man-eater, they develop a taste for humans and begin to hunt them actively. In 2012, a single man-eating leopard, or a pair, was responsible for 15 deaths in Nepal over 15 months, according to a report from CNN. The IUCN Red List categories categorizes the leopard as a vulnerable species. Tigers. Tigers are another big cat on the list of the most dangerous animals. They are bigger than their cousin the leopard, and they are another natural born killer that stalks the jungle like a boss. These solitary orange and black cats are particularly scary because historically they've been adversaries to humans. According to a Vice report, estimated 373,000 people were killed by tigers between 1800 and 2009. A number of famous tigers have racked up impressive kill lists, particularly the Champawat tiger that slayed 436 people in Nepal and India during the 1890s and 1900s, according to Planet Deadly. Unfortunately, tiger populations are dwindling. With only a few thousand left in the wild, it's listed as endangered in the IUCN Red List. <laughs> Cougars are known to be strong and agile with amazing leaping ability. They are also known as mountain lions and pumas. They are usually very solitary, often lurking unseen in the wild. Cougars stalk their prey quietly and then pounce on them with little warning, biting at them with their powerful jaws. In the past 100 years, there have been 127 cougar attacks, with 27 of them being fatal. Eastern cougars were declared extinct in early 2018, but their population in the American West remains little cause con for concern as right now they are estimated to have 30,000 plus cougars. Many of the victims of cougars are actually bike riders who are attacked while riding bikes through the remote regions where cougars do their hunting. As more and more cougars are losing their hunting territory, humans become more and more likely to become their prey. There are no teddy bears in the wild. Instead of cuddly cartoon animals like Winnie the Pooh, there are grizzly bears that weigh around 800 pounds. National Geographic says the diet of this bear is quite mild normally, consisting of nuts, fruits, leaves, and roots. The biggest threat from a grizzly bear comes when a mother is protecting her young. In a report from National Geographic, it reveals that an average brown bear encounter is 21 times more dangerous than the average black bear encounter. Despite the grizzly bear being one of the most common bear subspecies in North America, it's considered endangered. Well, there are usually only one fatality a year from grizzly bears. <laughs> Polar bear is considered the Earth's largest land carnivore, according to Defenders of Wildlife. The polar bears are king of the Arctic wild. They spend most of their time hunting for their preferred prey, seals. The animal's sense of smell is incredibly powerful, able to detect the presence of a seal half a mile away, even with it buried under the snow. According to research done by James Wilder, since 1870, there have been 73 fatal bear attacks. 20 of those have been from polar bears. As their habitat and food sources decline in the Arctic, the mass of bears are turning to desperate measures, including cannibalism and even venturing into human populated areas. According to the WWF, polar bears are the first ever species to be threatened due to climate change. 
Undoubtedly, their numbers are expected to drop by 30% in 2050. When you hear seals, most people think of cute little pups playing by the shoreline. But leopard seals are actually ruthless carnivores that strike fear in the Antarctic and sub-Antarctic waters, according to National Geographic. Among all the seals, this one is the fiercest hunter. Leopard seals have recently come into the spotlight as a photographer and explorer was dragged to her death when a leopard seal grabbed her and pulled her under the water. Leopard seals are massive, on average growing up to 11.5 feet long and weighing up to 840 pounds. They eat a variety of creatures including fish, squid, penguins, and even other members of the seal family. While attacks rarely happen, divers have been injured by the sharp canines or being dragged under the water. So unfortunately, this is one seal that you should try to avoid. The tsetse fly looks like your typical house fly, but it's far more deadly because it carries the parasite causing what's dubbed as the sleeping sickness, or trypsomonas. Six out of the 23 known tsetse fly species transmit the sickness from person to person. Untreated, this disease is fatal almost 100% of the time, and it's estimated that between 50,000 and 500,000 people are killed each year from sleeping sickness. Sleeping sickness can cause headaches, itching, muscle pain, and fever. Over time, it can infect the nervous system and more alarming symptoms begin to manifest, such as behavioral changes, confusion, poor coordination, sensory disturbance, and sleep disturbance. If left untreated, it is 100% fatal. Fire ants may be small, but they are terrifying. The best known type is the red imported fire ant, which was accidentally brought to the United States from the native South America. These tiny insects kill about a dozen Americans every year. Fire ants kill with their venom histamine, which causes pain, swelling, and itching on the infected area of the skin. Within a day of the attack, the wound turns into a white pustule. While this by itself doesn't necessarily kill a victim, a severe allergic reaction or other secondary infections can occur and kill the victim. The other problem with ants is that if you attack their nest, the whole community will be after you. It's not just one bite, it's thousands upon thousands of bites. They release a chemical into the air and the whole troop will come after you. In addition to the fire ants, jumping ants can even wreak more havoc. This is the jumping ant or jack jumper ant, which hails from Australia. According to Complex, these jack jumpers hunt by sight, unlike other killer ants that use their sense of smell. Their sting is particularly painful, similar to an electric shock. Even thick clothing cannot repel jumping ants since they can simply sting through the fabric. If bitten, seek medical help immediately. Deaths are few from this type of ant, but it's not unheard of. In Tanzania, one person is killed every four years. Until you realize it has a horn that is basically the perfect weapon. In the wild, there are few animals more intimidating than a charging rhino. There are five different species of rhino, but National Geographic says the black rhinoceros is particularly aggressive despite being a herbivore. According to Animal World, the powerful rhino is an edgy creature quick to charge and attack when it senses someone in its territory. Sadly, the rhinoceros is among the most hunted of all animals. It is a poacher favorite for their unique horns. They are tragically, critically endangered on the IUCN Red List.
Despite being the largest existing terrestrial mammal weighing up to seven tons, elephants have the reputation of being wise and peaceful creatures who won't attack a mouse, let alone a person. This is far from true. The majestic African elephants are responsible for killing about 500 people every year, according to Trip Savvy. Most of these deaths occur during mating season when bull elephants are looking for a mate. On the other hand, human poachers kill approximately 55 African elephants every day. The species is classified as vulnerable on the IUCN Red List. As their habitat is continually destroyed, more and more elephants are fighting for their place in nature. Hyenas aren't the most physically impressive animals in the bush, but in their large clans, speed, and powerful jaws make them an animal to be reckoned with in Africa. According to National Geographic, despite being known as scavengers, hyenas are actually accomplished hunters of birds, lizards, snakes, antelopes, and even wildebeests. Generally, these animals will eat nearly anything, even the bones of the animals they devour. Hyenas group together in matriarchal clans that consist of up to 80 individuals. They kill in packs and they use their numbers to overpower and outsmart other animals. When a human community is nearby, hyenas have been known to raid their crops, livestock, and even stores. Children are especially at risk as they are difficult to outrun. Alone, these animals may be shy and timid, but when they're in a pack, there is no stopping them. <laughs> While wolves rarely threaten humans, they are not your pet dog. They can be found in the wilderness in and around the North American plains. Since records were kept in 1875, there have been approximately eight wolf attacks per year. Wolves are social creatures coming together in wolf packs that consist of around six to 10 animals. This makes them an intimidating force as they roam great distances every day. The preferred prey are much bigger than them individually, deer, elk, and moose, which speaks a lot to the power of wolves in the wild. Western Wildlife explains that although they're naturally shy of people, they can scavenge through garbages and attack livestock. Wolves view dogs as competitors or territorial intruders due to their shared ancestry, so it's best to keep pets safe from them. In addition, if you are encroaching on their hunting grounds by camping or other wildlife activities, it's best to keep yourself safe by keeping fires lit and not sleeping in the open ground. <coughs> Found in Australia, the cassowary doesn't seem too dangerous at first sight. This brightly hued, flightless bird looks like a cross between its relatives, the ostrich and peacock. One of the three living cassowary species, the southern cassowary is the second heaviest bird in existence after the ostrich. The appearance of the cassowary can be misleading because it can deliver a punch or a kick. According to the San Diego Zoo, the animal's feet contain a four-inch dagger-like claw. With a single kick, the cassowary can slice its predators open. In fact, some believe that they are descendants of the Velociraptor. Since 1926, there have been over 150 attacks on humans. Though resulting in injury, few actually result in fatality. Most of these accidents happen on cassowary farms. Little is actually known about their behavior in the wild because they tend to stay away from humans at all costs. Graceful and often seen as human companions, horses aren't often depicted as very lethal. In fact, in the United States alone, 
The horse is responsible for approximately 20 deaths every year. Most of the fatalities come from people who are riding horses and are either kicked or thrown. On their own, horses are gentle creatures, but you make them mad and you could be in big trouble. In addition to the mad cow scare, which happened in the early 2000s, 74 people were killed by cattle between 2000 and 2015. While most victims were working in farms during the accident, some were just people who were simply in public arenas. Since the running of the bulls began back in 1922, there have been 15 recorded fatalities. So these may look like gentle grass-eating creatures, but you do not want to cross them in the wrong way. Like Bambi, wild deer aren't really aggressive animals, so it may be surprising to find out that according to the analysts by the LCB in 2016, the deer is the most dangerous animal in the United States, causing an estimated 200 fatalities annually in the country. Usually this happens when a deer jumps into traffic and causes a car accident. Deer won't attack humans, but they do cause a lot of vehicular accidents. With their natural habitat shrinking due to human development, the territories of the animals are overlapping with populated areas. This trend is leading an alarming number of deer to unknowingly step into oncoming traffic, causing plenty of human deaths that way. Worldwide, almost 100 people die each year from dog bites, with 4.6 million Americans alone getting bitten each year, resulting in injury and hospitalization. Young children are especially vulnerable to dog attacks. A study showed kids under 4 years old are twice as likely to be killed than the next vulnerable age group. However, rabies remains the biggest reason behind the deaths by dogs. According to the WHO, thousands of people die from the disease every year. 99% of these are caused by dog bites. Vaccination is key in lowering these numbers. There are threats that are invisible, which are often the scariest and most deadly of them all. The tapeworm is responsible for cysteriosis, which kills an estimated 700 people a year, according to a study in 2013. The WHO reports that three species of tapeworm cause cysteriosis in people, although only T. psyllium will lead to severe health issues. People acquire this disease by ingesting the tapeworm larva through undercooked and infected meat. When these larvae enter the central nervous system, it can lead to serious neurological issues such as epileptic seizures. Tapeworm is particularly widespread in low and lower middle income nations. Another invisible killer is the roundworm. According to the CDC, the disease is uncommon in the United States, but an estimated 807 million to 1.2 billion people worldwide are infected by it. A study in 2013 showed that an estimated 4,500 people die from roundworm every year. The roundworm is a parasite, so it cannot survive without a host, the human body specifically the intestines. Roundworm occurs when people swallow the eggs from contaminated food or water. In some cases, the parasite eggs are transmitted from the hand to the mouth after a person has touched contaminated soil. They are often found in the feces of pet animals as well, such as dogs, 
so it's important to get your dogs treated for roundworm. The mosquitoes are undeniably humankind's deadliest adversary. According to Gabriella Gibson, professor of medical entomology, the mosquito is the most dangerous animal in the world, carrying diseases that kill over 1 million people each year. The tiny mosquitoes carry and transmit some of the most fatal diseases on the planet, including malaria, dengue, and the Zika virus. Despite only a handful of the 3,500 known species of mosquitoes posing a threat to humans, it's enough to be people's worst enemy. Dr. Francis Hawkes, a behavioral entomologist, says that 50% of the world's population is at risk for catching one of these dangerous diseases. That means one out of every two people is at risk for getting one of these deadly diseases from mosquitoes.